Hello everyone, Ryan from Addicted to Nature, and today I'm going to show you an easy, safe, and cheap alternative to root tabs. Now I did a little bit of research and I found that root tabs online are about seven to nine dollars for just 10 tabs. So if you have a large aquarium, you're going to be spending a lot of money just on fertilizer alone. So if my method saves you money on this expense, consider giving it a like and subscribing. As always, I'm available in the comments below for any questions. So I've been dosing this particular formula in my tank for months and I haven't seen a problem with it, even in my baby shrimp tank, which you are seeing right now. So let's get started. First, I pick the fertilizer to use. This is the Miyoko Grow all-purpose plant food, which is manufactured as a blue crystalline powder. The stuff contains lots of nitrogen, mainly in the form of urea, which is less toxic than ammonia. Since I have a mature cycled aquarium, the small amount of ammonia will be easily taken care of both by the bacteria in the tank, as well as the water change I will do in the end. This fertilizer contains a variety of the main nutrients plants need, including phosphates and potassium in the form of potash. Copper is a nutrient that plants must have, so it is a good idea that we have a small amount. The copper in the fertilizer has never given me a problem with my shrimp, but like all living things, results can vary based on a lot of factors. As long as we are careful, we won't have fertilizer leach into the water, and even if they are, well, the moss, anubias, and other epiphytes will benefit. Now let's throw everything together. I take a clean mixing cup to mix the solution, as well as a thin pipette for injecting the fertilizer into the substrate later. The best way to inject a fertilizer, however, is with a syringe and needle, something big and relatively thick. I recommend the three milliliter syringe with an 18 gauge, inch and a half needle. But because of the coronavirus, I'm unable to buy one from the local pharmacy, but they cost about a buck a piece and you can stock up if you wanted to. I'm going to add 12 milliliters of aquarium water into the cup first, but we will add more water later. Then I take the Miyoko Grow and add two small spoonfuls total. Remember to even the top. That is enough for this recipe. Now that I think about it, it's probably also a good idea to warn you guys to be careful when working with needles. Please don't hurt yourself. You can dull the needle by scraping it on concrete or brick, but make sure you don't accidentally crush the tip and destroy the needle. I'll add 24 more milliliters of water for a total of 36 milliliters. I use the pipette to mix them up. You can also use a syringe, which may be easier. Just quickly draw up the solution and then squirt it back into the cup. Repeat until you don't see any more crystals on the bottom. So how does doing all this help the aquarium plants? Well, plants that primarily take up nutrients from their roots like Rotala, Ludwigia, and other stem species can, over time, deplete the nutrients in even the best substrates. I can't dose the nutrients into the water column and expect them to reach deep into the substrate. That is why people use root tabs to try and supplement their nutrition, especially if you have species such as Amazon swords and Valisinaria, which are heavy root feeders, you will also benefit from having some sort of direct substrate fertilization method. So let me show you exactly how to apply this. First, suck up some fertilizer from the cup with a pipette or needle, and I'd use about one milliliter each time. Now you're gonna go in and insert the pipette or needle into the soil, going as deep as you can trying not to disturb the plants. This is where a syringe and needle would have been ideal. Slowly push the fertilizer solution out and going too fast can allow fertilizer to rush out and up into the water column. If you are using a pipette, it is important that you keep pressure on the bulb as you remove the pipette from the soil. That way you don't suck back up all the fertilizer you injected. I will show you again. Go into the soil, gently squeeze and remove without letting go of the bulb. Removing slowly also stops fertilizer from leaching up. Space out each application by about three to four inches or a max of 10 centimeters all throughout the tank, especially where there is heavy stem plant load or carpeting plants. 
Lastly, we will do a 30 to 40% water change. Now this water change can replace your regular water change to save some water. So if you also have maintenance or trimming to do, do that first, fertilize, and then change your water. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And if you like this video, consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. Thank you.